What the hell is that? It's gotta, recording. I gotta look good. My ring set came in, so I guess I'm gonna get this uh, ring that matches the one that I broke, and I uh, get it file fit and installed on that piston, get that piston in the cylinder. Well, here I am, sitting here with piston number four, ready to replace that ring and get this installed in the motor. I wish I could say I picked up right where I left off. However, when I came out to work on this project, I went to turn the motor to line the crank up where I wanted it. I couldn't even turn the crank. Couldn't figure out exactly why, so I decided to start taking it apart. And I found that two of the oil squirters that I had already kind of adjusted to fit around that stroker crank, they were still hitting, keeping me from turning that crank over. So I've had to disassemble this entire engine and put it back together. And here I am, right where I left off. one that was already on my team and left the Pokemon there and then I went to another one and I took out the two people I think it was two or three Pokemon that were there claimed it for my team and left one of my Pokemon there So this is the motor from the Red Talon. This is the one that's having problems. Uh, I'm about to strip everything off of this short block now that the other one's finished and uh, bolt it all onto that one. So hopefully I can throw that motor back in there sooner than later. Okay, so I'm um, taking all of the stuff off of this long block still to move it over to the new short block. This is the bad short block here. Uh, I got oil pump, oil filter housing, and right now I'm pressing the seal into this uh, rear main housing. Free Magnus promo. I'll tell you what, getting in here and putting this rear main housing on while the engine's on a stand is a real pain in the ass. So uh, if anybody has a better way to do this, leave a comment and uh, let me know your ideas. I already did this before I started the video, but you can see this piece of gasket right here. 
I always trim this piece of gasket off of here. I had an experience a while back where this little piece of gasket plugged up the oil return from your, my oil pressure regulator, caused me some really high oil pressure. It got in here and it, and it kind of smushed in here and blocked off that passageway. This is where the return from the oil pressure regulator dumps back into the pan. So I like to trim this gasket off right here just so that's not an issue. This is what I'm talking about right here. That's that oil return off of the uh, oil pressure regulator and you can see where I trimmed that gasket there which makes for a nice smooth pathway, passageway into the uh, oil pan. Whoa. Ah! And cut. Put cheese on it.